Hello boys and girls, this is Axel from The Metamorphic Way. How are you doing? I hope you are practicing the abs. First of all, yes, we forgot about those, didn't we? I didn't. I'm not sure I see the result just yet, but it feels good. And now I feel like brushing my teeth in the morning. It's just like second nature. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, now I, I like it. I really do. I mean, it's only 10 minutes, I mean, so you see, plus the bridges. Let's not forget the bridges. Uh huh, and then of course, yes, I don't know if you've been practicing the conceptual pattern, which is a very, very nice thing to do, and also metamorphic technique on uh, the feet and the hands. So, you have quite a few things to, to do lately, have you? You busy bunny, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, some of you are very busy, I know for a fact. However, some of us, anyway, so. Uh, two more cards and then we're going to have like a proper reading today. Yes, not like uh, lately, it'd be like three cards. But it was nice. It was nice to have a little bit of a, um, you know, knowledge, sharing my knowledge. But it's also very peaceful things to do and um, it can bring some transformation. It can bring some peace and quiet as well. It can bring some, you know, something, uh, a new perspective. So it's always nice to do something like that. But let's see what is happening. One more card. And then we are ready to go. Okay. One more. Here we go. Oh, we have two more. Oh, no. No, we're not going to take two. We're going to take one. We're going to keep it simple. Okay. So, and <laughs> because I say so. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Under the deck. Monsieur the Emperor. Monsieur the Emperor, like always. Okay, so that is Mr. Always in my face, apparently. Um, is someone who makes things happen. Is somebody who gets things done and not messing around. Is quite a control person. Uh, he likes to control what's going on. He likes to control the people. Sometimes with free spirit here, don't do control. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Hello. Uh, okay, first card, Nine of Cups. So it's about uh, good food, enjoying good time, uh, maybe a bit of celebration at home, obviously. We have strength, which is absolutely a delight because we need that. And, uh, you know, shining your light, shining your strength, your power. And then we have death, which we know mean the end of something, the beginning of another, which is great because... We have this one, Eight of Cups, which is the end of something, you know, and if it's Cups, it's generally about emotions, about feelings. I would be tempted to think it's about a relationship that is over, finally. And maybe you've been obsessing about something and it's done and dusted. Now we have the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is someone very mysterious, very enigmatic, very passionate, very, you know, sexy as well. But she doesn't really, or she, you know, she or he, doesn't really matter, we know that, um, doesn't share the feelings. She sits on it, as you can see. She sits on it. Uh, so she sits on it, and sometimes I think it's a bit of a danger as well. And then we have two of pentacles. So either you're juggling too much, or you are in between two, and you have to make a decision. Let's cover the card. Nine of cups. <sighs> Page of swords. Let's cover. Oof. Right, okay, let's cover. Okay, so yes, that's much better. So, uh, yes, now you're celebrating because you had to go through quite a heartache, maybe some very strong uh, word exchange, very powerful, and uh, a bit of blah blah didn't mean anything, it was very mundane, there's no depth into it. However, some of the words were very painful, or there was obviously a third party. But now you get into a place of Six of Pentacles, which is equal give and take, which is lovely. Strength is covered by judgment, very powerful card. So you're going to the core of things, the core of people. You see people um, with their three, their three colors. You know, you don't mess around. Yeah? You go through a little bit of a... Um, you know, uh, with death, you, you went through a little bit of uh, battling, a little bit of that, but also maybe dwelling on the past and wasn't really uh, going anywhere, particularly with someone that was very much um, hiding his feelings. And then, boom, 
So that probably it's why you went through uh, that moment of death kind of thing. Like, is enough is enough. If you didn't want to make the decision, something happened, something that was meant to happen to push you to take that bloody decision. Yes, so you, Eight of Cups, you uh, left an obsession. Funny enough, I said that. <laughs> Is that good? And so, um, yeah, you left uh, that obsession behind that for good, seriously. And uh, you maybe probably received, yeah, you received as well the year of fun as well before that. You received maybe some knowledge or you found some strengths from, you know, whatever it was, a online or, or someone you talk to, uh, someone with a lot of wisdom and things are moving forward. When you come to the high priestess, page of cups. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So yes, maybe you're sitting on your emotion, your feelings, because as well, someone in front of you, it's very much uh, timid and shy about his feelings. And then maybe you were also still dwelling on that story, that obsession, and you were looking at the wrong thing and you were not seeing that page in front of you who was very shy as well. So hello. Let's get things moving. Anyway, Ten of Pentacles. So now that is all good with um, love, bliss, abundance, beautiful happiness. Two of Pentacles. Okay, well, we have the Hermit. Yes, so you actually, you are hesitating between two. You need to retreat. You need to go step by step. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles who is also step by step. And then you have a little bit of a triumph. Um, yes, but don't, don't think like that said is done. Don't, don't sound too triumphant. Wait, just stay piano, piano, but then we have the sun, so that's fine. You are shining your light, you are creative, you have uh, something that, you know, you, you maybe can express your creativity now and you feel at the right place and you can maybe connect to your inner child. Or maybe you're in connection with children, maybe you're working with children now, or you're helping children, which is pretty awesome. So here we go, here we have it, a proper reading today, like six card all covered bing bam boom <sighs> okay <laughs> have a lovely day and i'll see you tomorrow take care Mwah. ciao